what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel i'm glad to be back guys i know i've been gone for a while it's been crazy with work and all um i'm ready to get back on my videos um i, I love to give y'all guys at least a video a week but it's been kind of crazy for me right now we got some updates we've got a bunch of parts that came in for the second gen and also the small block build that i'm doing i don't know if any of y'all know about it and it is right here can't wait to get my door put on the shop we got to build it because i went over 12 foot wide so i got to custom build the door um and then we're gonna pour some concrete in here and we're gonna probably extend it out as the as it this time progresses we'll just because we're kind of outgrowing it we got quite a few things that came in um but i can't really finish the small block build until like my son gets here because that one piece rear main seal won't slide over the bracket on the engine stand but i'm so ready to get the rest of this engine put together the bottom end's complete we'll put the heads on the oil pan the um oil pump and screen and i'll do a video on it also we did go with the double roller timing chain um i may drop that video also i put a brand new single on it and it was really loose um but yeah i'll do a video on it also but let me show y'all what came in that i'm really excited about this box here um this came from jeremy at retro shop i appreciate that man one week he had these headlights done this is going in the second gen i haven't opened the box yet at all these are a um a morimoto projector they're the i'll just have to we'll cut it open and i'll show y'all what it is let's see here like i said hey i need to get my tripod out and put it on here so let's open this box up and let's see what we got guys y'all seeing is what i'm seeing for the first time okay here's the um dynamat these are the switchback bulbs they will go from um amber to uh white so i went with those uh, i do remember getting them and here's some of the morimoto the um wiring harness for the uh, second gen, so it's all plug and play. Uh, these are the, um, I think what it, these have, I got these little resistors just in case we need them. I'm not sure if I'll need them. And, okay, these are the um, balusters for the projectors those out of the way and see okay here we go these are the projector shrouds i went with apollo 2.0 flat um the shrouds but looking at their headlights guys um i'm gonna try to i'm gonna set y'all down for a minute guys give me a second um let's see here i'm gonna set y'all right Here, one second, guys. Let's pull one of these things out and check them out. Check it out, guys. That's the projector. Um, it was custom built. Check it out. Um, it is a uh, Morimoto. Uh, this is the uh, H2S, or I'll have to look it up. It's, I uh, can't remember what I got, but 
They're supposed to be the brightest ones you can actually get for the second gen. They got like a bluish tint to them. I got the blackout housing. So, uh, yeah. It's them there. And he done these in one week, guys. One week he had these done. I'm not going to say that uh, he can do that for everyone. Maybe I just got lucky. But here it is. Can't wait to get those put in the second gen. If anyone knows anything about it. Oh, I thought that was cracked for a minute. <laughs> Seen that scratch there. I was like, oh, that's my luck. I got a crack. Make sure, though. Look at that. No. That's just the, uh, it's just the tape. Scared me there for a minute. So the thing about doing these uh, videos and not going back and editing them right then, I may need to try to start doing that. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, headlights. And if anyone knows, y'all know these headlights, the factor ones in our Dodges, they're not that great. They're really not. You can't see out of them worth the crap. Um, when they say these are supposed to be the brightest ones, so I, I can't wait to get them installed. Let me see here. We'll look at these uh, wiring harness here. And like I said, it's supposed to be all plug and play. That's the wiring of uh, the, this is a 35 watt, I want to say, uh, baluster. Yeah, this will be the 35 watt that we went with. So, yeah, I can't wait to get these installed. And what I'll do, I will do a video also on how bright they are. I'll just drop a video. We'll take it out on the dark back road, and we'll just see how good they are. And, uh, and I'll give y'all my honest opinion about them. Um, you can check Retro Shop's uh, website out, and you can actually check them out also on um, Facebook. Uh, Jeremy, really nice guy. He, like I said, he jumped right on it. Easy to deal with. Uh, had everything in stock to do these headlights. Um, I was going to uh, do on myself, and I called Morimoto. And these are, oh, left one other thing out. These are 6K bulbs. So we did go with a 6K. And I called Morimoto, and they didn't have any in stock at all. So uh, he had it all. So uh, we got him to do them. And uh, it's not bad. I mean, I looked up the parts for me to do it myself for around $400. And you can get these with the switchbacks. Don't quote me on this, but... I don't know. You call them, guys. I'm not going to sit there and just put that. I'm not really 100% sure, but they're not bad at all. It was cheaper with my time on me doing it. It came out cheap for me to just let somebody else do them because these headlights are probably $150 to $200 for the a new set of uh, lens, the headlights. Then you got to buy the projectors. And uh, yeah, they were about $400 for the projectors. And if you look in it, look how looks factory so yeah i'll just let someone else do it that knows what they're doing that knows how to seal them up and i'll just hook them up so i'll do a video also on how they look but guys i'm glad to be back uh we'll get some videos done i can't wait to uh, get back on the second gen and i'll probably even do an install video on these headlights We'll probably do that too, just for if you guys want to uh, get a set and y'all can jump back on here and just look up the install. It's pretty simple. Morimoto um, has the install on their, uh, I think on their channel and on the uh, internet. So it's not, it's not bad at all to do, but I'm excited about getting them installed. Like I said, that second gen the um, headlights are awful. I mean, when I used to tow my trailer at night, I mean, it, it was rough, especially when a car would come by, it would just go total just blindness because it would just glare. You can't see. Um, it may have just been mine, but the way I've heard everyone talking, it's a lot of the second gens. But anyway, guys, we got the radiator. We got all the other parts in for the second gen. So all of those videos are coming. Like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell. Also, 
this is a big thing and I'll talk about on my next video. Um, I've thought about it and I don't know how I need to do this. If any of y'all have dualies, these are rec gens. These are a all black. You can look them up, rec gen dually mesh with white flags, um, mud flaps. I'm probably going to do a giveaway on them. Like, subscribe to the channel, and then I will just uh, keep up with it till we get to a certain number of subscribers. Let's say I'm going to give those mud flaps away to somebody when we reach. Let's get 1,000 subscribers, guys. And I'm going to give those mud flaps away to one of you and send them to you guys free of charge. Just like, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, can't wait to bring you guys some more videos. Like, check out the channel, check us out on Instagram, and we will talk to y'all soon.